If you're watching this video, you've probably asked the question, how do I get a yellow green? Or what do I do to get a blue green? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. What you're going to do is you're always going to start with yellow if you are mixing with yellow because yellow is the lightest value or the lightest tinting power of what we have. So we're going to take our yellow, going to move some over to the side, a couple brushfuls is good, and then we're going to add just a tiny amount of blue, like half of a brushful. Okay? If you add too little, you can always go back and add more, but if you add too much, it gets to be kind of a mess to try and change it back. And yellow green is kind of like a lime green color. This is a little dark, so I'm going to add a little bit more yellow, lighten it up some. You really want to try and get your first color to be pretty good. It'll help the rest of the color wheel out. So you want to mix your yellow green first. Once you get it mixed together, then you can paint it in the yellow green spot. Okay, once you get it painted in, the next step then is we're going to make green. So then to make green, what you're going to do is you're going to take your yellow green and you're going to add more blue. Remember, blue turns the colors very quickly because it's got the strongest tinting power. So you just want to add a small amount, maybe a little bit more. You can always add more. Once you get your green, you can paint it in the green circle. And then lastly, we need a blue-green. So you're going to take your green, no need to remix, just take your green that you already have and add a lot of blue, like a brushful or two brushfuls is good, or you can add more. You just want to make sure that it looks like it has some green into it, not just blue. And I know that this is probably looking like it's just dark or black up there, but it's not. It's a blue-green. If you're not sure, you can paint it on the palette. And when you paint it in there, you'll be able to see the, the color hopefully change. You can also get like a scratch sheet of paper and test your colors before you paint them on the color wheel to see how they look. But remember, this is an exercise. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you make a mistake, you can remix them and put little swatches outside here. Good luck.